Everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays for World, and we have a really scary episode today starting off, which is unfortunate. I left it terrifying last episode, and this one's going to be even more terrifying because we have raiders that came in, and they're going to be attacking immediately, which is okay, normally. However, this time around, because of the eclipse, we have absolutely no power, meaning I can't rely on my energy turrets. This time it's going to be basically us against them, straight up in a mano a mano type of fight here. So I've already recruited eight people. They're going to be kind of coming down over here. And as soon as we need more people, I will basically uh, militarize as we go and kind of set them up over here. I don't want to put anybody near the turrets because they are going to have a chance to explode. And without them being able to defend themselves, then um, or the turrets defend themselves, they're going to be blowing up a lot easier. We have a farming vessel also as well. Not a good time for that, man. Not a good time at all. So um, right now, let's have my people go over here and start getting ready. These guys, that's a lot of fucking people, man. It's terrifying. Let me mitigate this a little bit here. Uh, no weapon. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, 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 no weapon. Okay, we might not be too bad, then again, I've said this before and things have gone really bad. So we have three people with light machine guns, one with Molotovs, and then two with Molotovs. So two Molotovs, three light machine guns, okay. That says to me that we should be okay, hopefully. Now, what's going to happen with the raiders, though, is that they're going to come and they're going to actually hide behind our turrets. Or, be, they're not behind them, but they're going to hide in front of them since the turrets are no longer online. So, that is going to, they're going to use my own coverage against me, unfortunately. There's just no other way about that. I really wish I would have had some, some blasting charges out there, but unfortunately, I don't. So, my guys are still setting up over here. I'm going to have a few backup people ready to go. So, let me see. Dak Jack shooting three. Not that great, but you know what, man? Right now, it doesn't even matter. I need you to get that light machine gun and give me a hand here. Silver? Uh, how is your shooting? Three? Not that amazing, but you know, at this point, you have an Uzi, huh? That's not going to help out right now. I'm gonna, let me get you get this uh, light machine gun. Giggle Farts has a light machine gun as well. He's shooting five. You know what? That's going to be more than enough right now. So let me have you also set up and maybe set yourself up. Uh, I don't even know where. Let me have you go over here. I, I have somebody coming to this side too as well, just to see if we can get them from the side here. Alright, yeah, they're shooting Molotov cocktails and everything. At least they're kind of hurting themselves because they're fucking big dummies and whatnot. So, that's cool. Can... Oh, is that the... <laughs> For a second, I thought they killed themselves, but that was just the squirrel that was trying to get in. So, alrighty. Um, terrifying. So, now they're in. And again, we need to forget about everything that's going on and just go for the guys that have weapons and Molotovs and things like that. So, Axel, you're going to firstly go for Rudzak, the brawler. And let me have you and Crazy Sam, as a matter of fact, fire at this guy. Then this guy's going to be completely harmless, but he has no weapons. So they're going to try to run in and try to set stuff on fire because they love doing that shit. And let's see. For now, Nomo Toe, see if you can start aiming at Salinas. Actually, no, that's melee attack. Don't melee attack. I need you behind coverage. So fire at Salinas because of those small top cocktails could essentially not harm us too much, but they will flush us out of coverage, which is what I don't want happening. So here we go. All right, come on, guys. And meanwhile, let's actually fire at this guy as well. And uh, Diesel for the win, fire at this asshole as well. Now, Kilroy is still coming into position as well. Now, over here, we're going to have the melee people just coming in straight up. So let's see. Silver, are you uh, done with that? You are. Let me have you also set yourself up right about here. And we're going to create like a, a line of defense over here. Dak Jack, do you have your weapon now? It seems like you do. You're equipping it right now. All right, so Giggle Farts, let me have you as soon as you get into position here. Okay, here comes the fucking Uzi guy, which is... A, oh, not the Uzi. Oh, we actually knocked this dude out. Uh, six health. He might not survive, unfortunately. Uh, Mighty Mike, you forget about those guys right now. We need to get rid of the dude with the Molotov cocktails because he is the one that's going to actually flush us out of defense, and we don't need that happening. Uh, luckily, the other dudes with light machines are actually hanging back, giving me a little bit of time to actually plan this out to a degree. Uh, Funky, are you recruited? You are. You're actually trying to get into position back here. You know what, Funky? Let's forget about positioning yourself now over there. Now, Giggle Farts, you start shooting at this guy over here. And let's see, as soon as Silver is ready to go... Did we get the guy with the... Oh, we got the guy with the Molotov. He was setting up behind coverage, too, so that was a clutch kill. Now we need the light, two more machine guns. All right, good. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, this is really stressful. <laughs> Axel, Axel, you start shooting at the Illuminator along with Crazy Sam. And along with Nomoto, who's standing and looking behind him for some reason. Nomoto, there's nobody behind you. Stop freaking out, man. And now this guy, 
shoot over here. As soon as Rios gets into... Alright, Rios needs to get his ass into range here. So fire at Rios the pirate along with Kilroy. And then Mighty Mikey, you do the same. Fire over here. Okay. So that's good to go. Now, yeah, we're going to have some people coming in, obviously. So Silver, you start firing at this man, Funky. You move out of the way for a second here and start shooting at this dude. Alrighty. They're going to set stuff on fire, which is sucks, but not big of a deal. Dak Jack, you are equipped now. Let me have you move back over here and start shooting at this dude. Alright. Alrighty. Good, 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 good. Uh, how's like machine gun guy? 60? Okay. And then we have uh, the minstrel over here being a dick about things too. And then the illuminator is almost dead though. So here we go. Come on guys. This guy's going to go and try to get behind coverage, which is what we don't need happening right now. Alrighty. Shoot here. Get him here before he flushes us out of coverage. So everybody fire right here right now. This is the important one. We've taken out another light machine gun guy and then we only have one left. Alright, come on. Before he shoots that, kill him. Perfect. Excellent. I am not worried anymore. We only have this dude, and you know, what is one guy going to do at this point? Nothing. So fire over here, if you may, along with Crazy Sam. And Nomo Toe as well, just to get him out of the way and not worry about a light machine gun fucking us over by chance alone. Alrighty, here we go. Perfect. Now, what I want to do... Brawler, huh? Mighty Mikey. Come and handle some melee along with Kilroy. And then the Alpha, if you may, come and start meleeing over here along with Daiso for the win. Okay. So far, so good. And let's see. How are we doing over here? Oh, we actually knocked somebody out. Capture Slug the Surgeon with Funky. Perfect. Alrighty, Silver, what are you just doing standing around looking at the door? Silver, come on, give me a hand over here, man. Uh, go after Justin if you can, because he's just being a prick over here. So fire on this guy. And then Funky's trying to get this guy out of the way here. Dak Jack, how are you doing with the pirate? Okay, you continue shooting at the pirate for sure. And then we have NG, who's uh, completely walked by through our defenses now. A little bit troublesome, but not really too big of a deal. Uh, we actually knocked this dude out, it seems. So Mighty Mikey, capture Vujur the Brawler, and the guy that we knocked out initially is dead. I, I knew that was going to happen because I didn't have enough time to actually send him in for capture. Okay, so we have Boshri the Drone. Okay, everything seems to be going good right now. Ah, we knocked this guy out momentarily, and he was going to be a Marine, which sucks. That would have been a really good capture for us, but Giggle Farts got a little bit too crazy right there. Alrighty, so now let's stop shooting wildly and start thinking about um, doing some crazy uh, melee stuff. So, Dak Jack, let me have you go in melee over here along with Alpha. And then Daiso, you go after Otto if you can finally catch up to him along with Silver. Giggle Farts, what do I want you to do? I want you to go and maybe give us a hand over here. Alrighty. Now, my dudes over here who are still shooting wildly, I respect that, but give me... Let me have you guys move over here so you can stop shooting my people too much, and then you go... Don't arrest Firehead. He's our friend, Kilroy. Alright. Alright, we, we got another knockout, which is good. So, Firehead, you capture Borshi the drone. You have another drone, too. Good. Alright, now they're trying to flee, so now they're trying to get the fuck out of here because they understand that their life is in danger here. Show them the fuck with us. Um... Okay, now these guys are going to be... Doug is still running around. Hiroshi's still trying to run around too. Alrighty. So now, Giggle Farts, you are going to be firing at this dude. Just weaken him a bit. Alrighty. And let's make sure that everything is cool over here. So we killed those two guys. Butch is just trying to fuck off right now. He's just like, nope, fuck this man. It's not worth it. Anthony Wood... Isn't really uh, doing anything right now. He's on militarize, actually. Alright, so Daiso, I need you to go and start meleeing along with Dak Jack. And then Alpha, if you can, go after Hiroshi. And Gamer, you know what? Can you just turn around momentarily and see if you can knock out Doug here? And then, is that just about it for my people? It does seem that way. So there's no more other people to knock out. So you guys move away for a second just so there's no uh, loose fire. Oh, nice job, Gamer. So we're going to catch Winger as well. And now we're going to do the last melee assault over... Silver, stop it, Silver. Go inside. 
Alright, so we killed that guy, and then Hiroshi is gonna get knocked out as well. Fucking amazing. And that's it. That's everybody, right? Oh, that was an amazing raid. I'm really happy about that. I was really worried there for a second, obviously, but it worked out pretty well for us, as a matter of fact. So, unmilitarize these guys. And I didn't even militarize all my people, just a few people here and there. Some people were still working through the day. It's kind of like, eh, yeah, there's a, there's a raid going on, but, you know, we have uh, things to do here. So we caught a lot of people, which I'm really happy about. Mighty Mike and Miltrice, Funky and Miltrice. Thanks a lot for your help, guys. Oh man, that is a lot of people. It's gonna be five people waiting to be recruited. So that's always fun. Mental break soon, uh, Gamer420. Gamer, will you relax, man? You just did a good job for us. Don't don't screw it up by going crazy now. Alright. Silver, you can unmilitarize as well. Alrighty, gamer, you're free to go. Daiso, you put that man away and you'll be free to go as well. Excellent. Good job, guys. Amazing. So let's really quickly set this up for uh, recruitment over here. Vujur, recruitment. Slug, recruitment. Dougie, recruitment. And Hiroshi, recruitment. Excellent. Five knockouts. That's a really, really good fucking raid. Or at least like a really good uh, profitable raid for us right there. Now, there's going to be a lot of bodies to burn and clean up and stuff like that, so we definitely have to keep in mind about that. What I'm going to do right now, first and foremost, is actually put in my door, obviously. But once this fire is done, I'm going to put up a blast charge and make sure that this doesn't happen again where we're kind of screwed in this type of situation. And let's get everything over here picked up, cleaned up, yada, yada, yada. Alrighty, that was good. So here's what happens. So, obviously, when Falcon actually applies himself, good things do happen, um... We don't necessarily always have to be in the risk of, like, you know, dying because, you know, I just needed to kind of get my feet wet. But when I do, actually, you know what? I can't even say uh, when I do prepare, things go well because that was an unprepared raid, as a matter of fact. That was as far as unprepared as you can get. But it worked out pretty good for us, so I can't really complain about that. Everybody's resting, doing their thing. Good. All right. Excellent. So, now, as soon as this is set up, I will knock these down. I will add... One more Hydro Basin right there, and then we'll be good to go. The other thing I have to do right now is actually mine this and this. Alright. Fire's going crazy out there, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully it comes down soon enough. Alright. So that was perfect. That worked out quite well. So now let's mine this out, and let's see if my fear of cave-ins are going to come true. Hopefully they don't. I'd rather like them not to, but you, you never know. You never know with Falcon at the helm. Let's see here. Somebody mind us out really quickly, please. And good. Alrighty, excellent. So that's how it's going to work out. So what I'm going to do here is actually set the last set of Hydro Basin tables. And we'll soon start giving um, some sun lamps in here to actually grow and make this profitable for us. Because right now, they're just kind of hanging out with it. no real reason and whatnot. Okay. Everything good. Cleaning up bodies, setting up things, yada, yada, yada. Really amazing. Good metal, good food. Alright, things are finally coming together, so, you know, I'm a slow starter. I, I start slow, but once I get it going, man, there's just no stopping us in reality. Okay, um, I really like to take advantage of one of these guys and actually have, like, um, a, um, what is it, a geothermal, but unfortunately it's not going to work out for us, which kind of sucks. Maybe I'd probably be better off expanding this a bit more and getting some more batteries in there, make it, like, a smaller dining room area. I don't think that would be such a bad idea, all things considering. Let's see how this would work out. If I did that, where are the batteries at? Is it buildings? It's totally buildings. So I would need... Well, I don't want to put them together because then if there's a fire, I won't be able to put them out, right? That's how that normally goes. So I would need, like, this much space. Ugh. That would be a big remodeling thing. It would be, like, space over here and then wall over here. I guess it would work out, though. Because if I put it together, I won't be able to put out fires around it as the prop. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Now, let me think here clearly for a second, which is a new thing for me. Um, If I put this over here, the wall is going to be right here, and then, or space is going to be right there, and then the wall is going to be right here. So I would have to put this wall up through this side. So let's test this out. Wall through this. We'll leave one for the door, obviously. And we'll put that like that, and then I'll have the door over here. This will be the dining room area, and then we'll have some batteries next door. I think that'll work out pretty well. So let's see here. Deconstruct. Um, we'll have to deconstruct. Uh, what is it I'm looking to deconstruct here? All this, obviously. So deconstruct all this. Excellent. 
And now I will put batteries in here. Now this is going to be basically so we don't have an issue with power in the future. Uh, we might, but at least for now it will mitigate it to a big degree for now. So battery there, battery there. And then we'll do the same thing where we have like small little batteries underneath it and whatnot. Uh, batteries, where the hell is the small battery at? There we go. One, two, three, four. Excellent. And make sure that's power connected. So let's get a power conduit right about through there. And through there, just kind of even it out a bit. Okay, that's going to work out really slow for us. Put a power door right about there. Now, um, this door could go away now. And I could just put the door right about here. Or maybe even here. So let's put the door here. Deconstruct this. We'll put a metal wall in there instead. And then this will be the dining room area. Because we don't really need that big of a dining room area. I've done that before where I have like a ginormous dining room area. And you know what? These guys don't all eat at the same time. And then I'll have like a big grandiose dining room area. And they use the same four seats over and over and over. It's kind of like, guys, I have like 70 seats for like, you know, one, one seat for everybody, you know. But they never actually follow through on that. So put a metal wall right there. Put a power door right here. And now I am a really happy content camper. And everything is good to go. These guys will get recruited soon enough at some point or another. Food's being dropped down to them. We have a shit ton of food. Man, things are going really, really good now. I'm <laughs> really excited about this. So again, slow starter, but once I get it going, Dan, there's no stopping us. Let's go and actually start setting up some tables, though, because I did talk about that for a while. This is a tiny medium table. <laughs> table tiny long. <laughs> That's what she said. Either way, a uh, table right about... Let's see, can I put two of these if I do that? I definitely can. No, I can't. One... No, I can't. Now, let's... That's probably not the best setup, though. Let's go and switch this over, and we could do, like, uh... Kind of like prison style, right? Where we have, like, little tables for everybody. You know, like, the whites can't really inter... Or the, 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 the Nazis can't... Or the, the skinhead Nazis can't interact with the black people, and the black people, or the Black Panther people don't want to interact with them. And then you have, like, the Hispanic gang. Sorry, I've, I've been watching a lot of Oz in my time. Uh, let's, um, Oz, by the way, HBO show, check it out if you haven't, really amazing. So, I guess I could do that too, but no, I, I like my prison idea, to be quite honest with you. Not that I see my guys as prisoners, obviously, but I do like the, uh, premise of it. However, if I do that, I guess I could put, like, a small table next to it, right? So let's do him and do that. Enough room for... Let's see, how would this work? Let me put a chair here just to kind of uh, give me an idea what we're doing here. Alright, so I'll put that there as a placemat to give me a mental idea as to what I'm trying to do here. And then we'll put the other table here. Right. And then we'll have another chair right here, obviously. And there's going to be no room down here anymore, so that's going to be the end of that. Right. Yeah, definitely no more room. And then what I'll do next to it, I'll just put the short table. Or maybe even the square table. Can they eat off of this table? Standard table just a bit more cleaner. People eat off tables when chairs are placed forces facing them. People eat off tables. People eat off tables. So I don't think this one actually works as a regular table. It just says for antisocial types, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, man. Table tiny. I could do this one, but that's actually really, really tiny. Maybe I could have, like, you know, <laughs> one person sitting right here by himself eating. We'll make this like, you know, say somebody's on a date. You have like the one, two, one, two. Yeah, that works out pretty well. And then we'll put a chair. Is there any like special chairs that they added? Yeah, it doesn't seem that way, right? Oh, wooden chairs. I don't really want to put a wooden chair. Have like a fucking sofa. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Just like, you know, some dude eating on a sofa. Round chair. People sit here. You know, I could do some round chairs. Why not? So round chair. This will be the, 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 the special treatment chairs, obviously, and the special treatment tables. There you go. Set that up pretty good, and then we'll put some chairs right there, right there, right there. Flip these over. Chairs all about. I'm not too crazy about this hitting the the wall up here, though. Maybe I should have centered this out a little bit more. I really should have. Now it's going to really fucking bother me. God damn it. God damn it, Falcon. So what if I just move it one down? All right, so this is going to suck. I apologize for that, but I, at least I have the idea what I want to do, guys, so don't worry. We need to do this. Chair, 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 and give me table long. And then the other one will be... Boom, 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 boom. Then we'll have the space, obviously. And we'll have this chair, this table like that. Alright, there we go. See, that's better. Now it's not pressing up against the wall, which, 
you know, can be a little bit annoying. It, it was bothering me, honestly. So hopefully if you guys are OCD as I am, then you understand why that was bothering me. And let's go ahead and put this small... What, what table was it? Uh, it was a tiny table, right? Yeah. And then we'll do one, two, one, two, and then we'll get the special treatment chairs again. Bam, 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 and bam. There you go. See, now it's completely centered and um, OCD, be gone. Everything is fine. No big deal now. That's going to work out pretty slow. There you guys go. Chairs and everything, so when you go and get your food, see, Batman's going to be the first one to break it in. Good job, Batman. <laughs> so there you go. We have an area so people can eat. Maybe some lights would be pretty much uh, in tow as well to kind of get that going, right? A corner lamp. A small lamp to fit in a corner. Now, I wonder if this works well. Let me let me test this out. I haven't really been messing around with these new addition mods. Apologize for that weird background noise. I am not in the jungle. My birds are just going crazy in the back. Uh, let's see. Somebody set this uh, lamp up, please. It'd be really nice. If you did, I really wanna, I'm really interested to see how this works. God damn it. Axel, can you build this uh, lamp for us, please? Over here? Oh, you're, you're not a constructor. How convenient. Dak Jack, what about you? Not a cons- uh, reserved by Kilroy. Kilroy, get over here! <laughs> Kilroy, you're lagging it right now. Oh, it does light up. Sweet. That's pretty cool. That's a nice looking lamp. I don't mind that one at all. That actually looks more like a lamp that would be good for rooms, now that I think about it. So at least, if anything, that's actually, uh, told me that- I I'm gonna deconstruct that now. This will be my, uh, I guess lamp for rooms, as a matter of fact. And then we'll have a- ba -ba -ba. where's my regular standing lamp? We'll have one, let's say, right about here at the entrance. That get that going. Alrighty. So things are coming together. We have a lot of people to rename. So how about we call it an episode here today, guys? That was a good raid. Everything went good. We have a dining room area. We have some lights. Finally, a sense of lights in the area. By the way, large batteries are not being built yet for some particular reason. Do we need more spools for this? Probably it's the case. But I'm sure it'll get built soon enough, right? Right, guys? You want to build that. Shadow Place is building it. There we go, completely built. And before I actually call it an episode, because OCD again. Uh, dark concrete. Through that, please. And... I don't think they could build under here, can they? I'm gonna try it out, just in case. And anything needs to be built over here? Nope. Oh, you know where it used to be built, though? Right here. So no empty square right there. Let's make sure that uh, they can build it, it seems. Good. Alrighty, no more weird hollow brown thing. Alrighty, guys, so... Let's call it an episode of today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. That was really good. Now I have five people to rename, so again, that's going to really help out in terms of uh, getting the list, colony wait list knocked down. So five people to rename, really good. And um, we have a lot of reserves now, finally. So everything is looking up pretty good. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Everything's coming up, Falcon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.